All right, this is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize. The number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the U.S. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long-rated champion. If he's going to get this done, it's going to take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new by Mattel. All right, the UFC Hall of Famer Khabib Nurmagomedov getting back on the proven ground here tonight. And a new look corner, is that Hasbula there? Yeah, I mean, Hasbula is in the corner with Habib. Habib loves him. He's always talking about him. He spends time with him. But the one thing is, while Hasbula is there, Khabib Nurmagomedov's approach will not change. This guy is an absolute grinder, man. He is just a dog. He will go forward, get in your face, hit him. He will not deter Habib Nurmagomedov from accomplishing the ultimate goal, and that's keeping that zero on the right side of his record. And if you're Javier Mendez, you just got to make sure that you let Hasbulla get in there between rounds. Little guy's got a lot to say. <laughs> Habib Nurmagomedov. We are set for our main event of the evening. And now let's get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. And now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the octagon is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed USC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger Assassin! And now it is the champion fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed USC heavyweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle! So Herb Dean, third man in there for this one. He is undefeated. He is one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world. And what a pain in the neck he is to fight. Habib Nurmagomedov figures to go to the takedown for that option here tonight. But if he needs to strike, we have seen a constant evolution when it comes to his striking. This is one of the best fighters in any division. And Habib Nurmagomedov back at it tonight. Oh, looks like he's trying to set up the takedown. There's the attempt. So Khabib choosing to strike here tonight, DC. We saw in the Conor McGregor fight, he was more than willing to try to land power shots on the feet. And that's what we have seen here in this one tonight. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Fast pace here in the early going. Oh, and there's the double leg takedown for him. Beautiful entry there. But at least staying busy on the bottom. Nice positional control here. He set up a beautiful submission. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Oh, he's going to try to slam. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very what this guy brought to the octagon and it showed in that defense. Oh, that 
That's a pretty slick reversal right there. Khabib's right back to the full mount here. He's got to be careful here. It's okay. Keep your hands up. Well, he's on his back, but he's moving his head on the ground pretty well defensively. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off his back. Nermago Medoff's in half court. Big ground and pound. All right, so he gets back to his feet after that extended battle on the ground. You are flying me to the head. Just misses with the straight right. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Marco Manoff's in half guard now. Get the ball here. On the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Marco Manoff. Nice uppercut inside. Just over two minutes, round one. Counters with an uppercut to the head. Nice work by Marco Manoff. Big punch land. advantage off the top of the show certainly paid dividends for him there oh really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab oh, he lands another takedown here just doing a nice job not telegraphing his shot clean entries okay, he's gotta like what he sees i mean over and over he gets to the legs before his opponent reacts by beating him on the entry now it's up to the opponent to keep up but this guy's playing chess his opponent's playing checkers he's playing chess he can't keep up once he gets to his legs He's got to beat him defensively before he gets his hands locked around his legs or his body. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. All right, late round action here. Khabib Nurmagomedov continuing to dominate the action. Beautiful transitions, and I'm not sure anybody mixes their wrestling in the back as well as this guy. I mean, he's just so tough. He's willing to go through the fire in order to get the fight to the ground. He's been able to do that. He is one of the strongest fighters I have ever grappled with. The guy has tremendous strength, but it's not just the strength, it's the technical skills on the ground that has allowed for him to separate himself from the rest of the lightweight division. Nermago Medov gets the single leg takedown. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Working in half guard here, making these shots count. Time. This is exactly what he told us on Thursday. The game plan he's executing to perfection. And he's doing it exactly as he said he hoped it would go. He's getting to the legs. Oh, in good position to rip off a Kimura here. Oh, he's got the Kimura position locked in now. Oh, great submission defense. Right, so the takedown's the big storyline in that previous round. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and got to be pretty discouraging to get grounded that many times in one round. Oh, it's so discouraging because all you want to do is let your offense go, but every time you're getting dragged to the floor constantly, you're starting to get fatigued. He's starting to wear on you. Let's see what type of effect it takes on his offensive approach as the next round starts. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this round. He had a big effort there in round one. Really had the wrestling on full display. John, if he was looking to come out here, secure takedown, to feel good about the way things were going, he gets an A on his report card. Because takedown after takedown was secured, top position was secured, and as you watch that clock start to go up to top control, him and his team are ecstatic. Because yeah. they know they're on top, and they're secure takedowns and win. Marco Medov's in half guard. All right, operating inside the closed guard now. Oh, 
All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in the jiu-jitsu guy's guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. All right, setting up for a submission now. Oh, I'm no expert, but that Von Flew choke looks locked in. Getting very close to finishing this Von Flew. He did a great job of beating the guard. Now he's side to side. He's got to drive shoulder pressure into his opponent if he wants to finish this fight. Oh, the ground and pound is coming. Good movement to avoid some of that power coming back. Oh, nice elbow. Now he's got good body position, yup. Well, he's got the ground and pound going now. There's an elbow from the top by Nermago Meta. Moving his head here on the ground sheet. I mean, this guy is very active off of his back. That helps him to evade those strikes. Good jab there by the champion. Good jab. All right, what do you think? Another takedown attempt here. It seems like every time he's gone to the well, it's been an attempt. When you're that successful with any one thing, why would you change it? He's going to shoot for another takedown, and I would always be willing to bet he's going to secure it. I'll take the action. Okay. Well, he blocked that one. that body shot. Oh, that's a nice strike there by Nurmagomedov. Meadow. Yeah, I think Nurmagomedov Meadow is not only a wrestler, he's a full-on mixed martial artist now, and it showed in that exchange. Oh, that is a high-level transition to half guard, and now in a position to do a lot of damage. Watch him sit back on the leg and land big grounded pound. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Khabib's looking for a Darsh choke here. Oh my goodness, that Darsh choke is very tight. He's got the hooks in, DC, working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Posture's up now and lands a devastating strike to the head. Oh, another strike lands from the top. Great ground and pound by this man. Oh, nice job to land a straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? And don't get hit. But this guy's defense has been shot. Cat and mouth. You got to play cat and mouth. Hit, don't get hit. He does a great job of that. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Seconds remain in the round. Beautiful entry as he gets the takedown late in the round, too, which could have an impact on the judges' potential. Absolutely. You want to leave an impression in the judges' mind. Look at him attack that arm triangle on the opposite side. When it's time to finish, he will lock his hands, pass his body all the way to the opposite side, drop his chest. Oh, he caught out. How hard is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything wrong to lock himself to get so. around it was, especially from a striking standpoint, DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. Ready, fight. Ready. Round three of a possible five. 
Oh, he lands another strike to the body here and just continues to punish his opponent's body here in this round, just like he did in the previous round. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attack. Mixed up the target, attack the body. Start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game. His ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Oh, it looks like he's trying to isolate an arm here. Triangle now, DC. We'll see if he can close the show. Oh, the triangle is in, and not only does he have the triangle, if his opponent circles the wrong way, he can even attack an arm bar. This is a very big advantage position for this fighter. Oh, he got out! Wow, that is amazing that he did not tap to that submission. He was in very deep, but he made slight movements, got off to the side, slipped his right arm out, and found safety. Great job defensively. Reversal on the ground. Great job. Beautiful transition. Well, no surprise there as he lets his opponent stand back up. Oh, big elbow. Oh, big elbow. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds. Making up for lost time here. Job blocking that punch. Now he counters with a right hook to the head. He closes the distance beautifully. He's got a single counter punch. And they separate. Down to three minutes now to go on the round. Single. Great defense by this fighter. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Try to establish that jab. Tremendous body kick lands for this guy. Straight punch there, lands on the counter. Nice job using his reach advantage there. Great time. The redness now almost immediately on the right side of his body. Khabib's in half guard. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. Switching stances here. Elbow now blocked by Dermago Medov. Left hook counter there yet again. Continues to work the body here. Nice. Oh, he's back up again. You gotta like that. Pinch position. Another big thing. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Namago Manov's going for the sub here. Oh, that rear naked choke looks tough. Oh, that was deep, but he got out. That was beautiful submission defense by this guy. And now he reverses position. Wow. Great job not only reversing the position, but getting to your dominant position. And very effective with the ground and pound. Right Going to try to take his opponents back here, and he does. Good work from the top here by Nirvana. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. 15 seconds. All right, so again, he shoots for a takedown here. Looks like he entered pretty well, but once again, not able to take the opposition. Just a great idea of what was in front of him by the opponent. Knew 
that he would have to defend multiple takedowns to this point. He has done that, and if I'm a teacher, he's got an A-plus takedown defense. All right, so there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round, and a lot of good offensive wrestling work from him over those previous five minutes. I mean, great offensive wrestling. Every time he changed levels and got to his opponent's legs, he was able to secure the takedown. Let's see what type of fatigue his opponent will carry into the next round. All right, let us now look back at some of the highlights from that round, and there just aren't that many guys on this roster that can keep up this offensive wrestling pace over 15 or 25 minutes. But he's one of those guys. He is one of those guys that's able to continuously take you down, even if you get up over and over. He has this ability to maintain that pace and pressure that he can wear his opponents down. That's why you see him get so many finishes as the fight progresses. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Nermako Medov's in half goal. Great job landing from the top position. And another one. Another strike from the top lands for him. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Nice crack there. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. He, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following the game plan and it's working. Just out of range with that right hand. That was a great head movement. up again you can't hold a good man down he's looking to land the right just out of range all right watch out for the setup here dc i know you don't pay your bets but i'll bet you 100 bucks he goes for another takedown here <laughs> if i don't pay then why are you betting me i'll yell in the octagon and go man don't shoot so, oh! beautiful straight punch there by nimago Let him step over to the crucifix. Oh, he's stepping over the head here. Ooh, that Kimura looks tight. You gotta be kidding me. How did he get out? He just stayed calm. He's able to withstand the fire. Now he finds himself out and safe. Well, he has expended a lot of energy going for these submissions tonight. I'm not sure his opponent is actually submittable. No, it doesn't seem like it because every time he goes for a submission, he gets close, or at least he expects to get close. But his opponent is so on his game that he's not giving him much to work with. This has been a beautiful display of grappling offensively, but also defensively. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. And he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. And he's back up again. So the takedowns have been there, as have the dead Wow. Oh, how good was that judo toss? All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. Oh, it looks like that Dars is tight. Oh, that looks painful. That's got to be it. That's it. With style points tonight. Holy. Wow, an unbelievable result here tonight by way of submission. And he bided his time there. He stayed patient, waited for an opening. And then when it was there, he certainly capitalized.
to get the tap here tonight. All right, let's look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to stop to this contest at three minutes, 58 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by tap out. And still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle Mbagomeda. Right, so a lot of fighters have suffered from a similar fate against Khabib Nurmagomedov. You heard it there from Buff. He gets it done by submission tonight. I mean,